In this video, we are still looking at the differentiation and its applications. And the problem that we have says, if y is equal to tan of x plus 1 out of 2, show that the 2y dx squared is equal to y dy dx. In other words, show that the second derivative of this function is equal to that function times the first derivative of the same function. Now, we are going to say, for us to solve this problem, we need it to begin either from this side or this side. So let us begin with the left hand side. The left hand side is the 2y dx squared, uh, whereby y is equal to tan of x plus 1 everything out of 2. So what does this mean? We have to differentiate this function twice and later on we will see whether it is the same as y times dy. So what is dy dx of this function? If I differentiate a tan, I get a sec. So if it is x plus 1 out of 2, it means I have to differentiate also this function inside. I bring whatever I have inside here, I bring it outside then I create a sec squared. So I will have a half times sec squared x plus 1, everything out. Mm -hmm. What about the 2y, the x squared? What is it? I have to differentiate this again so that I have a half times. If I differentiate this sec squared, I will have a 2 now times tan of x plus 1 out of 2 times actually a half sec squared x plus 1 out of 2. So what does that mean? It means the 2, the second derivative of this function is equal to 2 times a half times a half then tan of x plus 1 out of 2 sec squared into x plus 1 out of so this 2 and that will go then the 2y the x squared will equal to a half tan of x plus 1 out of 2 sec squared x plus 1 out of now we needed to see whether this function is equal to y times dy dx so what is dy dx dy dx is a half so we know dy dx is equal to a half times x squared x plus 1 out. Uh -huh. Then y is equal to tan of x plus 1 out. Of. So this and that. So we see that the dy dx squared is therefore equal to tan x plus 1 out of 2 which is y times a half x squared x plus 1 out of 2 which is dy therefore prove as required. If you want you can also begin from the right hand side then you look for what is what is the y then you look for dy dx if you multiply the two then you differentiate the other function twice you should be able to get this particular function and it will also be as required thank you so much